The proteins are the third group of biochemical molecules or food groups that we eat. There are many different types of protein molecules made in the body and proteins are involved in virtually all cell functions. Following are a few examples that will be important for you to know for this course. Antibodies are specialized proteins involved in defending the body from foreign invaders, such as bacteria and viruses, so they play an important role in our immune system. Structural proteins are fibrous and stringy and provide support. An example of one structural protein is keratin, which strengthens protective coverings such as hair and nails. Transport proteins are carrier proteins which move molecules from one place to another around the body. An example would be hemoglobin, which functions to transport oxygen and carbon dioxide throughout the blood. Thousands of hemoglobin molecules are packed into every red blood cell in the body, and you will hear more about hemoglobin when we get into the respiratory system. Enzymes are proteins that facilitate biochemical reactions. They are often referred to as catalysts because they speed up chemical reactions in the body. Examples include the enzymes lactase and pepsin. Lactase breaks down the sugar lactose found in milk. And pepsin is a digestive enzyme that works in the stomach to break down proteins into food. We will spend more time studying the enzymes in Unit 7, but for the purpose of this course, there are four good examples of protein function that you should be sure to know.